Hi, my name is Edwin and I am a portrait and wedding photographer based out of South Carolina. I recently purchased a Mamiya 645 and after a few months of letting it just sit in my uh, camera bag, I decided to finally go out and shoot something with it. My local film store didn't have any of the film stocks that I would have ideally wanted to shoot with first, but what they did have was the recently released Cinestill 400D. Cinestill 400D is a daylight balanced film, which means it is intended to be used in natural light as opposed to a tungsten balanced film. Uh, that gives you a more balanced and more natural look in artificial light. I filmed a short vlog the morning I went out to shoot with my Mamiya in this new film stock and I'll talk some more about my first impressions and thoughts uh, with this camera and this new film stock afterwards but for now I hope you enjoy this video. my scans back from the lab I was really surprised looking through all the negatives um, at just how well this film stock did in various light conditions I was able to pick up um, a few 35 millimeter rolls as well and shot those uh, various times throughout the the month of December I definitely feel like I preferred um, the look of the 35 millimeter scans that I was getting more than I did at the 120 there was just something about the kind of characteristics that were there. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm too familiar or too used to seeing uh, 35 millimeter scans, but uh, I really just preferred the characteristics I was getting from those negatives more than I did the 120. Uh, and maybe I just need to shoot it more and, and kind of get familiar with that. Um, but overall, I really loved um, these kind of purplish colors, hues that were um, present. I shot a few uh, 35 millimeter rolls of Cinestill 400D indoors um, and when I looked at those I felt like I was able to get the colors that I have been after for a really long time uh, with 
things like Porsche 400 or 800. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, those just felt very cinematic and like very editorial to me. Um, something that I would see from like a, a handprint, and I just really loved the way that those looked. I think I'll definitely need to spend more time shooting this particular film stock and getting my eyes used to those colors. Overall, I feel like I was really pleased with the colors and the scans that I was getting and the results that I was getting from this film stock. I definitely love shooting with my Mamiya. It's uh, a new camera to me. I've only shot it a handful of times and I'm gonna definitely have to get uh, a little more used to it and uh, more used to loading the film on uh, a 120 camera. But overall, I loved the feel. I loved the way that I was able to focus with it and most of all I loved the shutter uh, sound. Um, there was just something so cool and, and just something so unique about the way that that camera's shutter sounds. Um, yeah, I just, I, I definitely prefer it over any of my 35mm cameras that I currently own. This particular model is a 645E. Um, this one isn't a modular like some of the ones that are out there. Uh, meaning that I can't remove the uh, the viewfinder or the back. Uh, there are some models out there where you can exchange multiple backs or, or exchange the viewfinder. Um, this one doesn't allow me to do either of those, uh, but it does allow me to uh, change lenses, which uh, for me I felt like was the perfect camera to start with. I definitely feel like eventually I would like to look uh, maybe at a different model that allows me to change backs or um, the viewfinders, uh, seeing as how I'm integrating this particular camera into my weddings and having a camera that can change backs would be super crucial and beneficial. But yeah, overall, I am really enjoying this camera. I'm really enjoying this film stock. Uh, I'm going to shoot some more and just see what results I get, uh, see what are the things that I could be doing differently. But I would love to hear um, if you've shot with this camera before or have shot with this film stock, uh, how you like it, how you've been enjoying it. Um, maybe uh, if you don't like it, uh, I would love to hear what are some of the things that you don't like about it and maybe uh, some recommendations of some film stocks I should be trying out. I have a few rolls of Kodak uh, Portrait 800 and 400 in my fridge right now that I'm waiting to use for uh, a few shoots, but other than that, I'm uh, pretty excited to try some stuff out and just kind of see where this goes. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good day.